is changing and uh, you know, for someone who lives in Canada and spends eight months of the year with snow this is a lovely break thought we'd take it outside today because we got three puzzles we're looking at all from Karakori I was lucky enough to bid on them and win them because they do a lottery because they only make so many right so you have to get in while you can and I've got three we got a doctor and his friend which is this cool looking robot along with like this sort of scientist on his shoulder. We got six CO stitches, or six CO stitch, sorry, by Hideaki Kawashima. And the last one we're gonna look at is called My Place, uh, which is a couch. So this first one, a doctor and his friend. So the small doll was made by Kobito Kiton which is a collaboration. So this is the first time I actually see a collaboration. And this is cool because this is something Cash told me he wanted to do was collaborate uh, with other artists. So here's the first look, we've not opened it yet. Here's his Instagram if you guys want to go to that. Oh wow. The doll on its shoulder doesn't move. Please be careful as it is fragile. Okay, will do. That is just so cool. Wow, <laughs> how cool is that? So sick, look at the little doll, look at him. And there's always an envelope with a seal on it that has a solution. And of course, we leave that in the box because part of the fun of puzzle solving is, well, solving the puzzle. If I pause, it's just to wait for the cars to go by. But we're in no hurry. All right, so this guy doesn't move. We're not even gonna attempt to touch him. Okay, so it looks like here, it looks like the, oh, the mouth is spring-loaded. Ooh, and this whole top part seems to shift. Let's read a little bit about what this says here. It says, made of Japanese walnut, wenge, magnolia, and mizuki. Those are the type of woods used a kind-hearted super robot invented by an old doctor. And that's what we're given. So this back portion, man, there are, there might be a, quite a lot of moving parts on this. This kind of reminds me of the horse and a warrior, or the Trojan horse sort of puzzle that he had made in the same type of, uh, looks to be the same type of wood as well. So this top part, this top part does, can I push and pull? You gotta be very careful. It's a little breast pocket too, which is cool. This arm moves. Oh no, it's this whole thing here. Okay, hold on. If I push down, no. Okay, so both of these come down. I don't know if anything happens on the lower part of this robot's body, but there does seem to be. My guess is that you press this in and this is going to release some mechanism that slides one of these panels. Uh, maybe a button on top. So this definitely slides out of the way, but which way does it slide? We, we shall see. All right, it's not going back and forth here. That's not moving. If you see me swatting, this is a bunch of flies. This is fly season. So I'm pretty confident the first move is to press here and to move another piece. But so far that hasn't been bearing any fruit, so. Is there, are there any other moving parts? This looks like it can move backwards, actually. Let's try that. 
This one looks like it goes down. So what's the first move here? Is it the head or is that the last move? Or the front maybe? This bottom panel? There is some added uh, tension when solving these puzzles and you're getting bit by mosquitoes. I'll tell you that. There is a little bit of uh, an extra added challenge. Definitely not enough for a Mr. Beast video. <laughs> getting stung by three mosquitoes while solving puzzle doesn't make for an exciting title, but it is a reality that I'm faced with currently and it is a little bit annoying. But we gotta, we gotta slow down and that's the whole point here. Maybe by slowing down, the bugs will leave us alone. So this isn't moving. The front part is not moving. The side part's not moving. Other side part's not moving. Back is not moving. Bottom is not moving. Head is not moving. There is something I'm missing. A lot of times with these puzzles, what happens is you'll notice a seam somewhere that you didn't notice before. And you'll be like, oh, like right here, there's a seam here going across. And I'm wondering if it isn't like, if I just maybe move this or something like, you know, but that doesn't seem to be doing us any good. Comes apart here. And this definitely comes apart here. Maybe we squeeze, no. The bottom. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be the internal parts that move around either. Tricky. Casho, this is very tricky. Not normally difficult, but sometimes they surprise you with a difficult first move. We have something, right? We have the teeth going. So that, that's not nothing. really feel like this side here is the side to go. Logically, um, you would have to push in the teeth to move the head, right? Because like, if something's attached to this, it, it's probably around the top is my guess, right? It's not gonna be, I don't know, it might, might not be, but I feel like that would be the case. But nothing I can do to the head here. Nothing I can do to the arms. I can't, I just keep re, oh, hold on. <gasps> Oh no, he's angry now. That's hilarious. Rawr. Okay. Now that that's out of the way. Oh, now this moves. Now this goes up. Oh wow, this is beautiful. This probably comes over. <gasps> this comes down. What now? The front? This is so cool. All right, so we're left with one piece left. It's either the back or the front, right? I'm guessing, maybe not, maybe neither. One compartment left. It's gotta be this. It's gotta be something here, right? So cool. Oh, look, it was actually connected to something way lower. There's a pole running back there. You can see it go down. 
Okay. This one can't slide in any direction. No, it's only that way, this way. The top, logically, would need to come off, right? Like, I mean, this is like his battery pack, I guess. <laughs> this, would, this would need to like slide somewhere, but it, it's blocked on all sides. So unless I push on it or pull on it, there's not really anything I can do. Is the pocket square? Yeah, there's something, something else I need to do. This can actually move to the side here. No, I can't because it's holding. It's held onto that, so I can't slide that this way either. Huh. What are we gonna do with this angry robot now? This is the kind of toy that uh, looks, it looks just like a prop out of a movie. You know what I mean? Like, it's so cool. Okay, we're almost there. We have almost conquered this puzzle, but just like the beginning, there's a step that is a little more difficult than we thought it would be. Things were going too smoothly. Oh, some dogs barking. Hmm. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. We have a tool. Is there somewhere I can place this tool? Or is that a magnet? Is that used to like, oh, can this come out? Oh, this can come off now. Oh, wow. Little gears in there. Uh huh. And now we have our secret compartment in his backpack. Look at that. That is so cool. What a beautiful puzzle. And on the inside, you can see both creators. I'll try to shed you from the sun here. You can see both creators uh, logo stamped there on the inside, which is their trademark. When they make puzzles like this, they always sign them on the inside where the normally on the inside where the secret compartment is. This is a 10 on 10. What a fun puzzle. All right, let's put it back together. You got a couple magnets here. So those are just gonna stick to that there. Very simple mechanism. Also cool that you can have two compartments here. You have a secret compartment inside with his heart <laughs> and then uh, and a backpack. Obviously very easy to reset here. Watch, this goes in here, boom. And we just slide everything back. And the head, and that is it. It is back to square one. This sun is really bright out here. And that is it, back to square one. Uh, let's do something about the sun coming in. And uh, let's check out the next puzzle. Next is this one. I was really excited for this one and I was happy when I uh, when it ended up because they do like a lottery, like I said. So you bid on one and then they literally do a lottery. And if your name's chosen, you get to you get to purchase it. Uh, but this one is by Kakura Yo. Uh, but this one, always animals, uh, I've noticed. It's Kakura and, and really about stories as well. So this story here, first of all, this is made of Keaki, ancient Katsura, which is pretty cool, and a Japanese Torea. I don't know what any of those are, but uh, it sounds pretty epic. <laughs> and also, it says, even if you think this is your spot, I'm not giving it up. And so that is what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with a stubborn cat. Oh man, I can already tell I love this one. Oh wow, this is so cool. Such a treat getting to do this outside for once. This is really neat. Check that out. There's a cat. <laughs> the cat even lifts its head. Uh, this should not be a difficult uh, puzzle. And there is the logo. Okay. This looks like it gets pushed in. The cat doesn't want to move. Oh, it's so funny. You're trying to move the cat, but the cat's like, no, don't move me. And I think in the description it talks about if you really want it, your spot, don't try moving the cat find another place. So probably gonna have to focus on another part of the puzzle and not the cat is my guess. I think if you try to move the cat, it locks the puzzle. That is my guess. 
That is pretty clever if that were it. All you have here is this that moves. Oh, that reflector that we threw up in the tree there is gonna go flying in a second. Give me a give me a sec. As long as the wind doesn't pick up, <laughs> then that thing shouldn't go flying. I love that they used metal as well. You rarely see metal components in these puzzles, but this is uh, this is cool. They're they're branching out. They're doing different things. I like it. They're collaborating. Yeah, this one's as well. You just don't know where to go right from the start. Huh. I really think this might not have anything to do. <laughs> it's just like maybe a red herring. Maybe got to pet the cat. Oh, can you move it forward or backwards? It doesn't really do anything. Kind of Trying to listen to see if there's like a magnetic attachment or something somewhere. Yeah, not much to go on here. Lovely little couch though, nonetheless. Cat, however, the cat is stubborn. <laughs> oh, what happened here? Ah, can the other side slide as well? Ah, I can. Ah, then it lifts up. No, ah, the drawer's here. Ah, how cool. So yeah, the goal was not to get the cat off. The goal was just to open the drawer and find yourself another seat. Very cool. So that uh, cat actually does hold that final drawer, as you can see there. Very simple puzzle, but to find it, you know, is takes a minute, as you can see. One, two, oh, is that locked now? Hold on, why is that locked? Ooh, wait, that opens. Oh, it's this part. Oh, so that's what's tricky. This whole part opens, and on this side, it's simply this part. So it's, it throws you off a little bit. Bam, bam, lift the cat, take the drawer out. That is My Place by Kakura. Kaku. Very cool. And finally, this is Stitch, 6 Co Stitch, or 6 Co Stitch by Hideaki Kawashima. He normally makes very difficult karakuri puzzles, but this one he says is by far one of the easiest that he's made. Made from Purple Heart, Cherry Maple, Kayaki, and Magnolia is a two by two by two cube, but two are removed and stitched together. So this cube is two by two by two, but it's as if one or two of these squares were removed and, uh, and they had to stitch them back together using stitching rather than wood, which I think is really cool. Man, look at that wood, the color of that. That is so beautiful. That's, a, that's another thing about this company is that all the colors that you're getting are the original color of the wood. They're not painting them or anything, right? This is like, that's what the woods are. 
Okay, so one thing that he did mention about this was like his have little to no tolerance, meaning if there's a slight variation in temperature or uh, or anything like that, or like humidity, uh, the box won't open the same, but that also means that this is probably gonna be very satisfying once you solve it. Okay, I can already tell that this is, oh, this is sliding. Do these slide out at the same time? Oh my God. Do all of them slide out at the same time? Oh, wow. Wait a second. Oh, wow. That is, that is so cool. Careful here. These pieces seem a little loose. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And so all of these come off. And they're all filled with tiny little compartments. Oh, that is exceptionally beautiful. Almost like beautiful in like a math sense. Ooh, I don't want to drop that. All right, let's get this back together before these all fall apart on me here because I do not want to lose this. Oh, this is even a challenge just putting it back the way it was. Because everything got to kind of fit at the same time into one another. So let's try it out. That doesn't go there. No. Yes. Yeah. No. Okay, easy to open, but actually a little bit more challenging to put back together. Because again, everything is quite literally full of seams. <laughs> and all the seams need to line up in this perfect little dance. Because I can close it all, but if I'm missing one, it just uh, it's going to be a pain in the neck to try and close here so we might have to pull them back a bit so this one and this one are these just in the wrong place you think maybe this one goes here or are they all the same does it really matter because this one seems a little off but only because uh because this one isn't opened anymore oh my gosh yeah Delicate, steady are the hands that solves this puzzle. Because you have to line everything up. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Yeah, everything needs to like line up. But everything is also on the verge of just falling over. So it does take patience, delicate light touch. And then knowing, is this the right piece that goes there? Because that as well. That seems to be a good fit. It really does look like it's getting stitched together too, doesn't it? Look at that. Wow. Six co stitch by Hideaki Kawashima. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of art. Just a wonderful, whimsical little strange box. <laughs> amazing. Each one of these is amazing. Here, we'll give them a score here. 10 on 10 for everything. 10's all around. These notebooks, by the way, will be available soon at first.shop. Uh, I had Bones Eye, a friend of mine from Austin, Texas. Uh, he made a limited quantity of these. We sold other ones before, like the smaller ones, but I'd fill them up so fast. Uh, the larger ones here, what's nice about this is they are exchangeable. You can, you buy one of these and then you just change out the book that's on the inside, but you'll always have, you know, that sort of nice big leather uh, journal with you, which I absolutely love. So these of you, these will be available. Uh, they're not cheap. I, I paid full price for them to have them made and I'm not making one cent off selling them. So. 
I just wanted to I just wanted to share that with you in case you complain about the price. Whatever price I'm selling them for is the price I paid for them. All right. Well, that's coming out soon. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a like, subscribe. And, uh, you know, if different locations are something you're into, I think we want to start exploring different puzzles in different locations, you know, uh, and just kind of keep things fresh. Well, I left a link to Karakuri below if you guys want to become a member. Uh, but yeah, check it out. See you guys. Peace.